hi guys welcome back to my channel and a happy new year guys it's a new year it's 2021 so i thought what a better way to start the year than to just share some tips on how to spend wisely um save if possible and just be smart with our money so in today's video i'm going to be sharing 10 frugal tips living in the uk if you enjoy watching this kind of video like i do myself please carry on watching and don't forget to click on the subscribe button like the video and also share the video with somebody who will benefit from them as well tip number one is to shop at aldi i've had to say that slowly because i know that some people think or just believe that those who shop at aldi are people on low income people who don't have money that's absolutely not true i believe that people who shop at aldi are people who have come to realize that majority of these things come from the same place i saw an article that somebody found milk that was supposed to be delivered to aldi in another big store's um shelf what does this mean all of this is just branding and most of all of these items come from the same place so consider shopping at aldi and compare the price uh, of the store you used to shop at before and the, and when you shop at aldi you will be able to see a difference in your shopping tip number two is don't change your mobile phone contract every two years oh i had to take a deep breath there i've made this mistake for several years at the end of every two years i change my mobile phone which does not make sense because in the course of the two years the phone wasn't yours you were still paying for it but when you've come to the end of the contract and you finish paying for you uh, for the phone and the phone is now yours that's when we decide mm, i don't want it anymore i'm going to get a new one so last year i realized this was a mistake that i was making and i was wasting a lot of money majority of the time nothing's wrong with the phone it's just because it's come to the end of the two years and i feel like i need to get a new phone no we don't need to get a new phone as long as the phone can do send message send a text um, browse the internet do what I would um, be doing with the new phone I want to get then I don't need the new phone I can still use my phone tip number three um, relates to tip number two which is to go SIM only this will save you a massive amount of money this will save you a lot of money so for example for your mobile phone contract you could be paying say 50 pounds 35 pounds or thereabout but if you keep your mobile phone you could be paying just less than 10 pounds for just sim only so at the end of my two-year contract um my phone was smashed but i could still use it to take calls receive texts uh, browse the internet and all of that so instead of changing the phone what i decided to do was to fix the screen of my phone so i repaired the screen of my phone for 40 pounds and i got myself a sim only contract that i pay nine pounds a month i get unlimited calls and texts and 8 gb of internet that is enough because my phone is always connected to the wi-fi so when i'm at home i'm not using my 8 gb and the best part about my sim only contract is that i get to carry over whatever internet i have not um, i have not used in the previous month to the next month which is just amazing so currently i've got about 16 gb of internet on my phone because i've carried on i've carried what is left from my internet from the last two three months that's just amazing tip number four is to unsubscribe yourself go into your emails now and unsubscribe from newsletters fashion clothing stores and all of that i used to fall for the temptation to shop within 24 hours and pay only one pound delivery there will be many one pound deliveries there will be many free deliveries there will be many 20 percent or 50 percent off 
there will be a lot of that valentine day sales <laughs> no fall for that don't be tempted to you know shop with the pressure of oh it's 20 percent off now buy it now or lose it mm -mm, lose it and the fact that we now have a website where you can even get discount a website like is it honey is called where you can get discounts on different stores there's now the blue light card where you can get discount please unsubscribe if you've watched up to this stage can i ask you to please click on the subscribe button like this video and share it as well with somebody who would benefit from some of these tips so tip number five if you shop for more than one person if you grocery shop for more than one person consider getting yourself a bigger fridge or freezer that would help you reduce the amount of time you have to go to the store also would help you to be able to cook in bulk and store in the fridge or freezer and you don't have to necessarily cook every single day of the week i used to have a small fridge and this used to make me go to the shop like twice a week and then i would fall into the temptation of having to pick unnecessary things that i do not need but since getting myself a bigger fridge and freezer i only sometimes go to the shops just once in two weeks or at most once every week tip number six is to consider buying second-hand furniture so instead of going out to buy the brand new furniture that will cost you 250 pounds to 399 to a thousand pounds consider buying it second hand yes there are some furnitures that i would not buy second hand personally and that's just a personal thing for me anything that has a soft finishing so my sofas my mattress i would not buy that second hand but things like your tv stand your bookshelves um tv cabinet i will definitely consider buying that second hand and you can get them for as low as 25 pounds to 50 pounds tip number seven is don't have a bank account that has overdraft this way you would be forced to leave within your means having an overdraft is just a way of tempting yourself um to spend money that you don't have having an overdraft is like a temptation if you don't have it and you know that it's not there you would be forced to spend just what you have but sometimes we can fall for the temptation of oh i would use my overdraft and i will pay back by the end of the month <laughs> by the end of the month you probably don't have that money and then you will have to pay all of that interest. So consider getting yourself a bank account that doesn't have an overdraft. Tip number eight is to stop buying carrier bags. As we know, carrier bags used to be free and now they're no longer free. You get, you pay 5p, 10p, 20p, 59p, depends on the size of the carrier bag. Um, if you keep having to buy carrier bags, sometimes in one shopping, you're probably using like, say, eight of them. If you keep having to buy that, that's just a waste of money that you don't need. And also, you're not helping the environment as well. But what you can do is when you buy that one carrier bag, fold it and use it over and over and over again best way to do this is keep it in your bag or keep it in your car so that way when you go to the shops you can easily get hold of them and use them to pack your things rather than buy a new one every single time you shop tip number nine is to discuss your mobile phone contract your gas and electricity um bills discuss most of these bills that you can discuss for example when i had my two-year mobile phone contract I, at the beginning of it i was paying 47 pounds and by the end of the two-year contract i was paying 31 pounds so what i do or when i what i used to do when i got when i had the mobile phone contract is when i get the phone i do understand that it's a brand new phone it's just come out so the price is high so i will take it three months down the line i will call them and just explain to them i feel like i'm paying more six months down the line i'll do the same thing 
a year down the line I would do the same thing especially because new phones have come out and I should not be paying the same amount that I was paying a year and a half ago when that phone came out. If you have to get them to reduce your internet, for example, if you were getting unlimited um, internet, get them to reduce it to 30 GB, 12 GB, 8 GB. My phone's always connected to the Wi-Fi, so I really don't need the unlimited internet on my phone. So I'm happy to take 12, um, 30, or even 8 GB of internet to cut down how much I am paying. So discuss how much you're paying for your mobile phone contract, discuss how much you're paying for your electricity bill. Just check that you're not paying more than you're using. If anything, compare the market.com, check that you're not paying more than you should be paying. Again, if you're still watching, please do click on the subscribe button, guys. Like this video if you haven't yet, and share this video with somebody that this would help. And finally, tip number 10 is not to follow trends. Today is flip flops that are in trend, next tomorrow is chunky heels, um, the following day it's uh, slim heels, and uh, in four days' time is skinny jeans. You are going to run out of money if you keep following trend. So don't follow trend, be yourself, you know, buy what you know you can afford because trends would always come. This week is one thing, next week is another thing. Don't be tempted to follow trend just do you. This is the end of this video. So these are the 10 frugal tips to help you be money smart. If you've enjoyed those 10 frugal tips and you have some more, please leave them in the comment down below. I hope you guys found those tips useful and if you're not doing any of them yet, I hope it's something you would be able to implement in your own daily life and I hope you would please click on the subscribe button, like this video and share it with somebody that you know will benefit from this. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video.